So the Neanderthals went physically extinct around 40,000 years ago. And before that time, we overlapped with them in Europe for a period of time. And we're starting to get a lot more information about that period of time from fossils, from archaeology, and particularly from the DNA evidence. And what it's showing is a, an interesting pattern that there are interactions between these populations, and this includes interbreeding. And Neanderthal females were taken into the Homo sapiens groups and then bred on in there and had children in those groups. So those females, those primate females, are being lost to the Neanderthal populations. It may have been that Neanderthals were preferentially joining the Homo sapiens populations, and again, they're then being lost to their own populations. It may be that there was some unequal hybridization going on because perhaps the DNA was going across into Neanderthal populations, but it was not successful there. Every generation where there's interbreeding, you get selective gains and losses of DNA. So each of us is, is a product of our parents' DNA. We have about 50% of DNA from our father and 50% of DNA from our mother. So that means already, you know, 50% of the parents' DNA is being lost in, in us. So every generation, there is a, a selective loss of DNA. So in these cases, we're talking about um, a loss generation by generation of Neanderthal DNA in their own populations effectively leading to extinction. Por el equipo alemán va flank. Perdida. Y se atoce el 38 y sale los 65, mira. Se va más así, ¿verdad? Geneticists estimate that the, the major interbreeding with Neanderthals took place probably more than 50,000 years ago, and that may have happened in Western Asia. So when we began to come out of Africa in, in some numbers around 60,000 years ago, first of all, those populations went into Western Asia and Neanderthals were living there. So even though we haven't got the genetic data from that time period, the suspicion is that the interbreeding mainly happened there. We can look forward to many more genomes becoming available. Um, and there's this great breakthrough in getting DNA now from cave sediments. So we don't even need to have a Neanderthal fossil from a cave. So if Neanderthals ever lived in a cave, um, died there, uh, a hyena dragged them in there, they had a, a wee or a poo in the cave, uh, a woman gave childbirth in a cave, all of those could have left their traces behind as humans. And now, incredibly, there are methods to recover DNA from cave sediments. 